everybody. So welcome to a uh, pretty different review. Um, I've reviewed micro machines in the past before, but I've never reviewed these micro machines heads. Now you've probably seen them in my collection, um, but I it's something that I've always just bought and used off of eBay, so I never actually had a, a micro machines pack to open for you of the heads. And so I do today, clearly, what you can see in front of you. And um, I kind of figured that maybe this could just be also somewhat of a collection video for the Micro Machines head. So what you see in front of me is what, what I have. These two are brand new. They came at the same time this, this did. Well, I mean, they were used, but they came from eBay. Um, I also don't have pictured, but I have another nine nub head. This was my original one. And this pack came with an extra. Sometimes it just happens since I bought them all used and loose. Uh, when you go to get the packs, sometimes they're just together. But um, so yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a look at this and kind of unbox it and show you if you're unfamiliar with this line. So uh, for me personally, I love, love, love little things. I love small things so much. Um, and so these just really appeal to me, you know, for, for that same reason. And of course they're Star Wars and so I just love them. Uh, but in the 90s, um, they came out with the Star Wars, the Micro Machines, um, and then before that they had some uh, kind of Micro Machine-esque things for the vintage line that were like made out of like lead or metal, some sort of metal. Um, and then they have revamped this right when The Force Awakens came out. Um, and so you can get ones for like Rogue One and Rebels and The Force Awakens, and those are pretty much gone now. The cat's on the counter. No! Those are pretty much gone now, but they've had micro machines to some extent, all the way from the vintage, original vintage figures to the 90s era to uh, episode one and episode three, I know for sure. Um, and so, uh, yeah, that's basically it. But these, these ones specifically are from 1996. So they come in a pack that says micro machines in the corner with the Star Wars logo and a picture of Yoda. Blue back uh, for the uh, figures. And then it shows the figures outside of the little heads with one display to open to show that you can open them. Uh, Micro Machines, Star Wars in the corner there. Galoob, this is a Galoob product. Galoob is no longer in business to my knowledge. But here's the back of the card. You've got this like kind of purple ombre look. And then it gives some more information over the figures and the collection. This is collection two. And then in the corner, at least for America, there's collection one, one. this one's two, uh, three, and four. So I have a little bit from each one. I don't have anything from Collection 1 at all, but I have this guy, this guy, this guy. I have all the Collection th uh, 3, wow. And then I just have, I got these two uh, recently, so I still need them for Tuna, so uh, pretty good. You also get uh, two micro points. I don't really know what that's about, but that's fun. Think big, play small micro machines. Very cool. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and open this guy up, and we'll take a closer look at these little guys. Looks like there's a thing inside, so we'll check that out. Alrighty, so here are the little heads and figures outside of the packaging. Uh, we'll just go in order here and kind of examine them. Um, so we get a little tiny Greedo with teeny tiny detailing, which is pretty good for the 90s. The gun is a little interesting. I uh, don't really know what to say about that, but he comes on a very small base uh, with a number two on it um, so that he can stand up on his own. Oops. You can see the back there. And Micro Machines in general, over the years they have been around, they have made lots of different little scale figures. Not all of them are all in scale with each other, but uh, here is the Greedo uh, Micro Machines head, which is really cool. Nice ears, good detailing, looks like some paint mishap there, but the eyes look clean, good texture. Uh, 1996. And then there's just a clasp here and you just unclasp it. It's a little stiff, but it looks like you got a scene of the cantina. Not sure who that is over there in the corner. Maybe it's Han Solo, but he's mispainted. And then some other aliens. So nothing like too crazy. Not a huge fan of this scene. There's also a little indent so you can fit Greedo in properly. Just like that. It looks out like that, just like the other ones. So that's Greedo. And then here's the Tuscan Raider one. They get a little tiny Tuscan Raider. Also pretty good detailing for being so small. I like his bantha, his bantha stick. What do you call them? Bantha sticks? Um, and then he also has a little thing. Two, I'm actually thinking probably for series two. That would make sense. Oops, I dropped him. And then here's the Tuscan Raider head. There's something a little bit creepy about his eyes because the sockets are way larger than like the eye tubes. 
So he actually kind of looks a little creepy, but his face, very interesting, their choice for character here. But let's go ahead and open him up. And it looks like in the back you have a Bantha and maybe the eyes represent the twin suns. We see that very similar with the Jawa, uh, only the sun is painted on. Uh, but you have those tubes as well because they kind of have eyes that go out. Actually, it looks like the skies right here, they have two suns there, they're just not painted. And then there's some bones, a lot more detailed than what is on the Greedo stand. So definitely liking the Tuscan Raider. Very cute. I like him a lot. Um, and then, of course, we have Nine Nub, which I already have. I now have two versions of them. Uh, obviously, one is a little bit more beat up, you can tell, but I gotta keep it for nostalgia's sake, probably. Uh, but really good detailing overall. There is something a little bit disconcerting about having these as like heads. It's a little weird, but I like it. They're just so cute and it's so unique. Um, this one takes place inside of a ship, um, and there's a cockpit and everything. What's different about this figure is that he is in the sitting position and he doesn't have a little stand. So the detailing on him is pretty good as well. It looks like he also has a gun in his hand. Uh, but you just kind of work him into the seat right there and he just sits down and it's super cute. You can even see his little feet poke out the bottom there. Uh, but it looks really good. I think you can shut this one all the way. No, you can't. No, you can't. He doesn't quite fit when you shut him all the way, but uh, very cute. I think that looks pretty good. So those are those three seeds, and I'll give you a quick look at the other ones. So like I showed you with the Jawa, that seed there, the Cantina seed with the Bith, another really plain bottom uh, with his bandmates. There's a Biker Scout. Lots of trees. I like the three effect. That's pretty cool. Uh, here's an older one. This is from 1998, but this one is C-3PO. And he's probably one of my favorites. He's He sticks on with a peg, which is actually really nice. He was my very first one, and he's super tiny. I like him a lot. And then Bosch. The Pot of Carbonite. And then again, one of my favorites, Yoda with Luke in the background. Super cool there. So anyways, guys, that was kind of my Micro Machines Heads collection um, and also the review of the Series 2. So um, I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for tuning in and watching with me, guys, uh, and have a fantastic day. Bye.